Welcome to the First Few Moments Podcast. My name is Kyle David Bates, and it's the podcast where we talk essentially about safety management, triage and care of patients at the scene of a, of a motor vehicle crash. I'm here right now with uh, Steve Taylor. Steve, how are you? Good, good, nice to meet you. Yes. Um, now, EMS Manager is our sponsor for this episode, and you're actually using that. Now, before we get into it, Steve, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and, and, and where you work, work out of? Sure. Uh, uh, my name is Steve Taylor, and I, I work out of uh, Deer County EMS, out of the Outer Banks, Nags Head, North Carolina area. Uh, we got involved with uh, uh, the scheduling program, just simply we went from a 24-48 system into a hybrid type system with 12s, 24s, and different time on. A mess. And absolutely. And knew that we just couldn't do the old pen, pen and paper. Um, so we got hooked up with these guys. We did a demo. Uh, they got it turned around, turned on for us pretty quickly. And in a short period of time, we were demoing the product, and we had a, a short lead time into our implementation date. So we rolled, we were able to roll that right into our uh, uh, startup date. So, so, what are some of the features about the EMS Manager that you that you like? Uh, well, one of the things that we like is uh, uh, the availability of our staff to be able to, if they have any connection to the web at all, they they have access to their schedule, and and schedules change. Um, even on a pen and paper schedule or a 2448 schedule, um, you know, your schedule can change the night before with call-ins, somebody's sick, somebody's got to go to a different station, different duty. Um, with, with the e-schedule, we just go right on and change it, notify them. But they can check that in the morning if, if we're not able to get up with them. They can check their schedule before they report to duty and see right where they have to go. So it's been, it's that. They can also, uh, apply for their leave time uh, or any time off. They can do that right over their, their, their any web application, their phone, their iPhone, their Google phone, um, any kind of web app, um, they, can, they can put in for their leave. So we've been able to do that pretty well. I think the staff enjoys that. Uh, the other feature that we like is on the back end, uh, we're able to, to uh, take what used to take us a lot of time doing timesheets. And you know how with about 80 employees, how much time it can take in accounting wise to do timesheets. Um, our, our folks now log in, log out when they come to work. Our admin uh, um, oversees that and when it comes time to reconcile it at the end of the pay period, it's a report, uh, it takes a couple hours and it reduces it to something from what used to take us about 20 hours plus a week to do. We're, we're now doing it in about four hours. Excellent. What about uh, the one thing that we always have in terms of, of scheduling, which I've, I've had issues in terms of scheduling, and as an administrator for, for companies, is dealing with that whole problem of o overtime. Absolutely. Well, the, the interesting part about the, the program allows you to see uh, uh, how many hours a week, how many hours a, a, a year. Uh, you can uh, not overwork an employee. It has to have an administrative override in order to do that. You can set those parameters, which uh, work for your system, uh, what works for any system. Uh, those are manually uh, done by each, by each uh, system. Now, I was doing some, some reading on, on the product, and the other thing, uh, also as an educator, is trying to track all my certifications of all my providers. Does EMS Manager allow for that? It does. It, it, it not only tracks your certification, your expiration dates, reminders, uh, it, it's, it's fabulous to do those things. Uh, it also tracks some of your immunizations and some of the other credentialing uh, items, too. If you're, if you're dealing with national registry, state certifications, your critical care, um, all those different certifications, you can house those and, and get uh, timely reminders uh, for staff to, to do. They need to re-credential. Now, when I was doing my paper and pencil, and yes, it was, it was hard, it was difficult, it was cheap. Yes. I mean, it's a piece of paper and a pencil. Now, we put in the aspect of, of my time, but, but, but how, how is it, the cost of well, management? Yeah. When you take 20 hours and, and have one of my administrative staff spending 20 hours a week on doing timesheets, and I'm able to recapture that 16, about 16 hours plus a week, and, and, and you extrapolate that to a year's worth of uh, productivity, uh, the, the system really, or the program really pays for itself by, by the time clock and, and, and the uh, online ability uh, to be able just to manage all that reporting. What now in terms of, of you know you know administration? One thing that we always love are reports. 
We love to get reports and Absolutely. track stuff. Does Emus manager allow that easily? Absolutely. Um, we pull off reports. We can pull off scheduled time reports, uh, time off reports. Uh, you can combo it all. Uh, you can show actually the actual time worked already. So you can you can organize those reports and, and clump them any way you'd like to um, aggregate to a week or to the entire year to make sure that certain employees aren't, aren't more overtime maybe than other employees and kind of spreading that across the board and not overworking some and, and underworking others. Now you, you mentioned how you got into this was a free demo. That's right. Yeah, they, they absolutely. They, free demo, um, they just call them up. Um, you send them in your information pretty much on an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, they'll have it imported, uh, set up, and in about uh, probably about 24 hours, they'll have the system for the most part, uh, the shell up and running for you, where you can start uh, start experimenting and playing and getting comfortable using it, and um, and then uh, you know it's yours to, to roll with and uh, you know check it out. Of course, you know you know free. We always worry, you know we always wonder about you know free and how much support we're going to get. You know and tech support. Yeah, they should set it up, but do they give you tech support with that as well? Absolutely. Training? Even from the dem, even from the day we started with demo. Uh, we got tech support 20, uh, you know, anytime, pretty much in the daytime that we needed it. Um, there was always somebody there to pick the phone up, walk us through the steps, how we could do it better, what what we needed to do. Um, even as we moved in past our implementation date, uh, they were still present. They were there, um, and they've been there the whole time. I mean, they're. It's it's very rare that I don't get a, uh, a somebody on the other end of that line when I call. So really, we're looking at you know, as the EMS manager it is an online scheduling and workforce management system uh, that's available 24/7, 360 days of the year. Absolutely, just need to have our our web access up there. Anywhere, yeah. That's it on that. Um, and if you would like to try out EMS Manager, go ahead to emsmanager.net and you can sign up for your free uh, subscription as well. So thank you, Steve, for joining us. Thank you. Good luck in, down there in uh, Bear County. Appreciate it. Thank you.